Hello YouTube. Hey guys, it's Sean with Stealing Second here. Wanted to bring this video to you today. This is a PSA return that I uh, just got and wanted to go through the cards with you. This is my first PSA return uh, since I've opened my own PSA membership. I typically have gone through uh, my low, or LCS in the past for submitting cards, so I went ahead and set one up on my own after talking with my insurance agent. Um, that it would be better to register my cards through a third-party group. So I went ahead and did that, submitted my first order with the vouchers, and let's jump into it and show you the cards that I just got back. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Um, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around to see the cards. So we'll jump right into the return here. I'll go through each card with you and show you my return. You're going to notice that this PSA return was very Tatis and Alonzo heavy, but there is some other cards in there as well, but let's jump right in. First card up is this 2019 Tops Living, Fernando Tatis Jr. and a Gem Mint 10. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've been trying to put together the rookie set um, off of the Living set. So I definitely wanted to pick up this Fernando Tatis, really cool card to me. Very happy it got a 10. This card is one that I purchased off eBay. Uh, got a really good price on it. Looked really clean when I got it. So I thought I'd submit it. Next up after that, the 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. Refractor in a Gem Mint 10. Uh, this card very happy about it. it's got a little mark right there on the case don't know what that's all about i'll have to see if i can clean that up but was definitely excited to see how well this order did so i submitted 15 cards out of the 15 cards 12 of these cards got psa 10s uh, so definitely turned out to be a pretty good result next up 2019 tops chrome pete alonzo refractor in a gem mint 10 this one as well um, almost all these cards, uh, the, especially the modern stuff, I pack pulled. The ones I did not pack pull, I will definitely tell you the story of how I got those cards. So hang tight here, and we'll keep going. Next up after that, 2019 Topps Chrome Pete Alonzo. Uh, this is the base Chrome rookie in a Gem Mint 10. So. Definitely liking how this order has gone so far. I did cheat, guys, and look online at this order, so I already knew the grades that each card had got, um, but this is the first time I've gone through them, and I'm going through them with you here. Next up after that is the 2019 Tops Living Pete Alonzo and a Mint 9. This one was kind of a disappointment, um, again, with the Tops Living set. I had purchased several of the, the rookie cards off of eBay, um, and the only ones that looked gradable out of all the ones I purchased were the Pete Alonzo and the Tatis Jr. The Tatis, as you've seen, got a 10. This Alonzo got a 9. So I will probably go on the hunt to find a 10 in this one eventually. Um, but for now, the 9 will work out just fine. Next up after that is a 2019 Tops Pete Alonzo. I believe this is the ver photo variation. Um, the base one is a little bit closer, doesn't show the top of the sock. This would be uh, the photo variation, is a little bit more sought after. It's a Gem Mint 10 on this one. I did pack pull this out of a blaster box, so very happy with that. Moving on. 2018 Tops Update Juan Soto Batting in a Gem Mint 10. This is one where I bought the uh, clearance. Um, packs at Walmart. They had a couple jumbo packs in the clearance bin. I purchased this um, and it looked really clean out of the pack. Uh, I actually hit several out of those jumbo packs. This was the only one that actually looked gradable to me. Um, so submitted it, came back at 10 and that is good stuff. So keep moving here. 2018 Tops Holiday Shohei Antani Metallic Snowflake Gem Mint 10. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the metallic flake in this one. Uh, a little bit, I guess. A little difficult to see on camera. This is one where in a video I've done in the past, I discussed how um, I bought three holiday boxes 
from a Walmart while traveling and they all three had pretty much the same cards inside um, with the exception of the snowflakes and this one was the best of the snowflakes out of, or the metallic snowflakes out of there with the Shohei Ontani rookie card or Otani I guess I keep saying Ontani Otani rookie card so I submitted that and it came back at 10 very happy with that Next up, 2014 Tops Update Mookie Betts batting and a Gem Mint 10. This is one that I purchased from a the Fort Wayne card show that comes around once a month. Guy had this one on his table. It looked really clean. Um, went ahead. The price was really fair on it, so I purchased this. After looking it over under my magnifying glass, it looked really great. Centering looked really great, so I thought I had a good shot at a 10 with this, and I did. So I'm very happy. You'll notice, I'll keep repeating it after almost all these cards, I am very happy with this order. <laughs> so if that gets on your nerves, I apologize, but i just expressing how happy I am. And in this case, very happy. Next up, 2012 Tops Update, Bryce Harper in a Gen Mint 10. This is one that in Memphis, Tennessee, I was in a card shop, and uh, it's the same card shop where I purchased the Fleer and Donruss, Ken Giffrey Jr., PSA 9s that I told you guys were in a bargain bin. Um, this card was actually, they had a box, a hobby box. Uh, you could buy by the pack individually in there, and it was pretty normal price, like $6 a pack or something. So I bought one pack um, along with uh, the two Griffies, and in that pack I pulled this 2012 update, Bryce Harper. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty good pack, you know, uh, all together. So the card looked really good. Uh, so I submitted it, came back at 10, which, again, makes me very happy. After that, 2011 Tops Update, Jose Altuve in a Gem Mint 10. This card is one I bought at the Coldwater, Michigan card show. It's part of the same show from Fort Wayne, but it rotates, so you have different vendors in different cities. But, uh... The guy that I purchased this off of, he had a table, and he told me he had pack-pulled this card. Um, and I looked it over. It looked really clean. So I thought, you know what, why not? He gave me a really fair price on it raw, so I purchased it and brought it home, looked it over, thought it looked great again, submitted it, and it worked out in my favor with a gem mint tint. Next up after that, this one was the one that kind of hurt the most, but I'm still happy with it, is the 1993 pinnacle Derek Jeter. If you've watched my video, you've heard in the past where I have said this is my favorite Derek Jeter. I actually like this card better than the SP. I think it's uh, just a cooler, more iconic card in my mind. Um, definitely wouldn't say so price-wise compared to the SP, but to me, this is the cooler card, and it's, pro it's pretty hard to get a 10 in this card as well. Um, this is one where I'd watched a guy do a live break on YouTube. I can't remember the channel, so I apologize for that. Um, but he had said that he was going to put everything on eBay and gave his listing on the description. And I watched him pack, pulled this card. It looked really good. He put it on eBay. I went and purchased this card. Uh, once I got it home, got looking at it, it looked fantastic. You know, with the black borders, it's very hard to, to keep it clean. Um, but it really did. Even under magnification, it looked really great. So I thought I had a shot at a 10 with this. It came back a mint 9. It's a little disappointing, but you know what? I'm, I'm very happy with the 9, so I'm okay with that. I think what killed it is this one corner right there, if you can see it on camera. I think that's what, what did the damage. But outside of that, still very happy with this card. It's very clean, awesome card. So happy to have that in the cabinet. Next up, this one was a surprise. It's the 86 Tops Traded Jose Canseco in a Gem Mint 10. Uh, my LCS had the little Tops Traded box sets um, from 86. They had several, um, and they couldn't guarantee any shape of them, wouldn't really let you go through them or anything. But there was one that was still, or still had the, the factory tape on it. Um, so I purchased that. It was a great price. Got it home, broke it open to get the, the rookies out that I wanted from that, um, from this set. And after pulling them out, there was two that I thought looked really good. This Canseco I thought looked the absolute best. Um, so I knew I wanted to submit this for my PC. Um, and it came back a 10, so I liked that. Very happy with that. And then 
The second one that came out of that was this 86 Tops traded Barry Bonds, and this one got a 9. Now, this one, I knew the centering was a little off, uh, left to right. It's probably 55, 45, if you can see, maybe 60, 40. Um, but I've seen cards worse get 10, so I thought, why not? And I submitted it. It got a 9. Either way, though, with the 9, I was actually watching this one on eBay and was planning to purchase it in a 9. Um, just because the, the price is much more affordable in a 9 compared to a 10. So coming back a 9 saves me from that purchase, and I'm okay. I did use my PSA vouchers for every one of these cards. Um, I started a new membership. I've, I spoke before through after I was going through my LCS and submitting cards through them. But after talking with my insurance agent and trying to figure out what's the best way to document my cards um, so there's not an issue if something were to happen. And they definitely recommended a third party um, system to where I can keep all my, my cards filed. So PSA has that. So I love PSA slabs anyways, so it made sense. Just open my own membership, use the vouchers, get the uh, the grades in that I wanted, and move forward like that. So there it is, guys. There's my PSA order. That's my first order on my own through PSA. Came back very good. So out of 15, I got 12 10s and 3 9s. So I'm extremely happy with that order. That's pretty good in my mind. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.